you can download freely this practical notebook from my website experiment 3 part a in the practical notebook left side page of same experiment good morning students today we will perform experiment number 3 which is to find the unknown weight of a body by the method of vector addition of force for which we will use gravitational apparatus slowly weights with hazards white paper drawing pins mirror strip set spheres half meter round and protector gravity and apparatus slowly weights with hangers white paper sheet with paper pins mirror strip Set scale, the smaller one and the big one. Half meter rod. And protector for measurement of angles. Now we will start the performance. First of all, we have to tie up the thread with waves. These two waves, which are of known values, we will name them P and Q. And the central weight, which is unknown weight, and we have to measure its value. We will pin up the paper and be carefully that knot of the thread should be in center of the paper. Now with the help of mirror strip, we will find out the point where thread and its image coincide with the picture. And at that point, we will mark with pencil. This is for P force and similarly we will perform with the Q force where thread and its image coincide with each other. We will mark that position for Q force and requires the procedure for unknown force. From the point, we will detach the paper from the left side of the and join the points in a straight line. Now the values of these squares in the observation table. The P force is of 30 gram weight, Q force 30 grams. After marking the points of white paper, we will join them and force P by the O, force Q also by the O. So we get a central point of P U W that is O point. First of all, we will draw the vertical horizontal and vertical components of the forces P and Q. For force P, this will be the horizontal component, and along this we will point out the vertical one, which is perpendicular with the axis. the vertical component of force P and its name is P sin of theta. Horizontal component of force P, P cos of theta. Now for force Q, we perform the same procedure. This is the horizontal component and this is the vertical one at angle of 90 
angles of force P and force Q. The angle with the adjacent to force P that will be theta 1 and with respect to theta 1 these angles must be theta 1. And according to force Q its firing angle will be theta 2 and we will calculate the components with theta 2. You can take this objective physics practicals from Ilmi Book Depot, Urdu Bazar Lahore or you can download directly from my website. Your readings may be different from these readings. Check these readings as a reference. Thank you.